Welcome back to another Celebrity Sweets. I'm Ethan. And if you're wondering why the Angry Birds are back here, which this is my favorite Angry Bird, the Orange Bird. I don't really know if it has a name. He starts off small like this, which I think he makes a noise. And then you like fling him off and he turns into this. I'm gonna call him Pumpkin. Okay, you gotta go back now, Pumpkin. And that's right for today's video, we are going to be making an Angry Birds 2 inspired treat because the new movie is coming out very soon. Now in one of the trailers I did see a clip where there is this little bird, which I think like there's so many little birds in this movie, just like little things. And she was like eating this like ice cream cone, but it was like full of worms. And I'll put the clip in right now. So I want to try to replicate that, however we are not going to be doing anything with worms because that's just gross. Instead, we're going to be using raspberry sorbet and whipped cream to get this design. We'll put it into an ice cream cone as well, but they'll just be little like ice cream bites. And the ingredients for this recipe are... That's my angry word impression. Two and a half cups of frozen thawed raspberries. Three fourths a cup of sweetened condensed milk. One cup of heavy whipping cream one lemon, a few graham crackers, two tablespoons of powdered sugar, and a tablespoon of cornstarch. The first thing we want to do though is prepare our graham crackers. I've got a bunch of crackers over here and I just want to cut them into some thin strips. So I've set our graham cracker strips off to the side and we can work on our second component. We're going to be making a raspberry sorbet that's going to go like in the inside of these worms. Nothing sounds good when you say worms. This raspberry sorbet is so simple. We're going to take our raspberries and our sweetened condensed milk, and I'm just gonna put it into a big baggie. Maybe. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to do this. I can't get the bowl out. You're just supposed to put the raspberries in, but they were stuck. <laughs> Help. Help. We've got our raspberries over here in the bag with our sweet condensed milk and our lemon is now on the ground. I just want to zest a little bit of this lemon and add this to our bag. I'm also going to juice half of it for a little bit more tartness. We've got all of our ingredients in this bag and now it's time for the fun part, the part where we can get all of our anger out. I'm gonna seal up this bag and right here I have like a meat tenderizer. We're just gonna use the flat side because that looks scary. And I'm just going to like smash this until we get like a consistency like ice cream. Yeah, take that. Uh. <laughs> so I guess I was having a little bit too much fun because I actually broke the other bag that this was in. I was smashing it so hard. However, it's fine. No problem. No biggie. I just put it into a smaller bag. The great thing about that though was that you didn't need to transfer it into another bag. You could just snip the tip, but like, I guess just do it a little softer. I did place it into another bag here and snip the tip like I said. This is just going to help us pipe them onto our lovely graham crackers here. I just arranged these onto a cookie sheet line with some parchment paper. And now we can take our raspberry sorbet, which is so cold, like, <laughs> whew, still frozen, and start piping along our graham cracker. Don't worry if your sorbet looks a little messy or like this guy right here, very messy. It's fine, that's why I put the piece of parchment paper down on the cookie sheet. And when we freeze this again and cover it in our whipped cream, you're not going to notice. It'll be all fine. And like these little rivets and stuff help to give our worms texture. Now we want to pop this into the freezer for about 30 minutes to an hour to allow the sorbet to freeze. While our sorbet is freezing though, we can start to work on our whipped cream that's going to go on the top of this, kind of just seal it off. To do this, we're going to add our heavy whipping cream and powdered sugar to our bowl. The powdered sugar is going to add sweetness to our whipped cream and the cornstarch over here is going to provide structure and stability along with like prolonging the lifetime of whipped cream. So add in your cornstarch. Now normally I would mix this up with a hand mixer, any like electric type of tool. However, I thought today I would do it with a whisk by hand just to get out all that anger. Whip this up until you get that whipped cream peak like consistency. To this whipped cream I also added a little bit of pink food coloring. I've taken, what should we call this, sorbet sticks? Sure. I took them out of the freezer and now we can start to add on our whipped cream. 
Again, I have a piece of parchment paper here, and now all we're going to do is pipe whipped cream over the entire thing. The great thing about this is you'll get the texture from your ice cream, and since we put the whipped cream in a piping bag, you can kind of control it a little better, maybe do some zigzag lines, anything to help you get a worm-like texture. Once all of your sorbet sticks have whipped cream on top, pop them back into the freezer for about 30 minutes to an hour again, or until the whipped cream sets up and hardens. The whipped cream has set up on our sorbet strips, and now in that same scene, you will see like the worms come to life. Like they're living worms in this ice cream cone, and they too see the ice boulder, ice meteor, ice, the big ice ball come to them and they scream. So just to seal the deal and make this a little bit more cartoony, I did want to add a few more details. Over here, I've got some candy eyes and I've also got some candy melts. I'm going to add two candy eyes to each of our worms, and then for the melt, I'm going to cut a small black candy melt in half and add that on as well. So our little worms are all made, they're assembled. Now, not all of these worms have eyes. I don't think worms have eyes in general, but some of them do. And now to seal the deal, really make it look like how they must do it at the Angry Bird ice cream shop, we're going to put some of these into a waffle cone. And rock -a -a <laughs> here we have them our Angry Birds 2 inspired treats that we made today. I got this idea from one of the trailers, the ice cream cone full of worms. So we made that today. However, I can guarantee this tastes better. We did a simple raspberry sorbet on top of a graham cracker and then piped some whipped cream on top of that for a light airy texture. Added a few little details of eyes as well to some of them to give them that cartoony look. And if you happen to make these, please share them with me on Instagram or Twitter. Also, don't forget to share this video with someone who likes Angry Birds, who's going to see the new Angry Birds movie. Let them know that this treat exists. Until next time, save a life and make it sweet. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button down below. And while you're at it, subscribe. You can do that by clicking this cute little donut right here. If you're looking for more content, up here is my latest video. And down here is what YouTube thinks you should watch. That's all for today. I will see you guys in the next video.